What's going on, YouTube? This is Necro Steve, and it's time for week five of the ILL, the Indigo League of Legends. Um, now, in this battle, of course, my opponent is Kushi. He is the first opponent that I actually didn't have a very clear win condition against. Um, he had very unorthodox Pokemon, and of course, he could have also brought a Rain Team because he had drafted Politoed. Uh, and Charizard, of course, can be Mega Charizard X or Charizard Y. And so I ended up kind of just bringing like I did against Lance, several things to kind of take on a lot of different Pokemon. Uh, I started off, of course, with my Focus Sash Mammal, so I'm hoping to get up the rocks without too many issues, but unfortunately he gets a crit on the knockoff, which puts me in range for his Mew to easily finish me off. Um, I could have gone for some damage on Mew, but I didn't know what type of Mew to expect. Uh, but now that I know I outspeed it, I know it, it's at least a bulkier variant of Mew, probably has leftovers. Um, and it also looks like it's more physically defensive since that Volt Switch did that much damage. Now I'm expecting another knockoff from you, so we're just going to go out into Venusaur here. Uh, of course, this will give me a free opportunity to Mega Evolve and hopefully uh, get some pressure going on his side of the field. A lot of people expect a defensive Venusaur, and so I really like bringing more offensively inclined Venusaur. Uh, this, of course, is a modest max special attack one. But unfortunately for me, my Mammal Swine really should have just gone for the damage on me as he defogs and gets rid of those entry hazards. Now, I I end up getting the poison from the Sludge Bomb on Mew. It actually doesn't end up mattering at all in the long run of the battle. Uh, at the time, it just had me really, really wishing that I could have access to Sludge Wave instead of Sludge Bomb. Because if I had Sludge Wave, two of those plus poison from two turns would have meant that his Mew would have been KO'd. So... Darn it, Venusaur, I really wish you had access to Sludge Wave. Uh, at this point, I have a good idea of what Mew's entire set is, and now that he uses Roost, I know what his entire set is. Of course, he has Roost, Knockoff, uh, Will-O-Wisp, and Defog. So, um, yeah, quite Wally. I really wish I had brought Bisharp to this battle, because Bisharp would have just really laughed at that set, getting a Defiant boost from the Defog, and not caring very much about Knockoff. Uh, but that's okay, I can bring in Maple here. Maple doesn't want to have its life orb lost, but it can function just as well without him. Um, since I know that he doesn't have any way to taunt me or anything like that, I can set up relatively freely on him. And after a few calm minds, I threaten all the Pokemon he brought for the most part. Now, the thing here is that I was really, really, really hoping that he brought Mega Charizard X. For, uh, for the first part, Michael Fable is physically defensive, and for the second part, Mega Charizard X has that dragon typing that allows it to take neutral damage from my Moonblast. So, uh, if I could kind of goad him into bringing in the Charizard, then I could put him in a situation where hopefully he would Mega Evolve, and then I would be able to KO it before he did too much damage to Michael Fable. Um, Charizard without Dragon Dance boost is not able to do very much to Clefable. So, he finally switches out his Mew after putting will o on me, knocking out my leftovers. I get up a Calm Mind, and he brings in his Whimsicott as I go for Moonblast. Uh, if I had predicted that, I definitely would have gone for Flamethrower to ensure the KO. And he goes for Leech Seed, maybe expecting me to switch. Um, because, of course, he saw that I didn't take any damage from the will o and I was carrying Life Orb, which just screams Magic Guard. So I'm going to assume he expected me to switch there. Uh, so I'm able to take out Whimsicott with, before it does anything too annoying. And he does bring in his Charizard, but he is way too smart, and he does not Mega Evolve right away. Uh, and that means that, of course, he's just Fire Flying, so he resists my Moonblast. Uh, my other offensive option, of course, being Flamethrower. Moonblast is my best option, so we're going to keep on going for that. And since he's using, using Dragon Dance, there is a chance that he's Charizard Y, because Dragon Dancing Charizard Y is a thing, in case you've never faced it. This is kind of terrifying. Um, but fortunately, he is Charizard X. And he does use Flare Blitz instead of Fire Punch. So although Fire Punch may have failed to get the KO, um, I don't know. It, it kind of is a toss-up there because Flare Blitz does get the KO, but he takes so much recoil damage that he gets knocked out too in a delicious double down. Um, and that's why Licky Licky is out here now with his tongue out. He's just like, man, that double down was just delicious. But I thoroughly underestimated Licky Licky in this battle. Um, this is the start of a horrendous trend in this battle where I'm just kind of unable to touch the Licky Licky and I'm deathly afraid of him paralyzing my sweepers. Uh, his full moveset, of course, is Body Slam, Heal Bell, Wish, and Protect. 
and my Terrakion unfortunately is Scarf so if I bring it in and go for the wrong move then he can just switch to Mew and if I go for Rock Slide or Earthquake as coverage moves they're not going to do enough damage and he'll just be able to wish back up and of course paralyze me with body slams so I bring in Terrakion here this is before I knew his entire moveset there and I just went for X Scissor expecting to switch to Mew because the close combat was really obvious um, I could have ended that Licky Licky right there if I had just gone for the obvious move. But alas, I didn't get that opportunity, and uh, he was able to scout me out with Protect anyway, so um, he didn't really have a reason to switch directly to Mew. Uh, and based on my team composition, he also probably guessed that my tracking was Scarfed. So with all that in mind, we're going to play Pokemon Shuffle, and not the little free-to-download Nintendo game. That's awesome, and you should go play it if you haven't, because it's a fun puzzle game. But the game where I try to bring in each Pokemon to do something against Licky Licky. If I had gotten, if I could have gotten poison on him, then I could have forced him to heal bell again. If I paralyzed him, maybe get another attack off. I bring in Azumarill just to get off a strong banded attack, and he finally gets the paralysis off of his body slam. So that was just poor timing on my part. Um, he does bring in Caldeo, maybe thinking that he would take the waterfall a little better than he does. He does not. He does surprise me by holding Citrus Berry on Caldea. I don't think I've ever seen that before, especially in singles. And I knew I could live any hit from Caldea, so I just stayed in, crossed my fingers, praying to Arceus that I did not get paralyzed again, and I'm able to hit him with another Waterfall, bringing him down at critical HP. At this point, Venusaur can use this as an opportunity to get some of that HP back. Uh, since Mew was able to get the residual damage through Will-O-Wisp on it earlier, I knew a couple of Secret Swords or Hydro Pumps would probably put me in red, I could synthesis back up and then Giga Drain to get a little bit of HP back as well. Uh, to my surprise, he actually has Icy Wind, but as you may or may not know, Venusaur has Thick Fat, so Icy Wind is not going to really be dealing super effective damage. Um, and this Venusaur doesn't have a huge speed investment, it has a, a, mo a decent speed investment to outspeed um, some other base 80s that tend to invest in speed, but uh, outside of that, he doesn't have too much speed. But even with that, um, I'm able to get up to a tiny, a decent level of HP. Hopefully enough so that I can live um, a body slam from Licky Licky. That's what I was trying to get up to. Unfortunately, I don't quite get there. And I was, I was just, I could have synthesized up at that point. But I really wanted to hit the Licky Licky if he was going to um, try to wish up. And he actually protects. And then he body slams. So I lose Venusaur right there which is pretty annoying. Um, I didn't play that very well. I guess I should have synthesized just to just to play on the safe side there. Now here, once again, I just wanted to go for the close combat. I thought at the range that Mew was at, it could not take two close combats upon switching in, even if he did um, scout me out. But Mew's HP was a little bit higher than I remembered at the time, so after Leftovers, I will not be able to KO it with a secondary close combat and I really didn't want Terrakion to get burned because at this point Terrakion is the only way I can win this battle. I have to have Terrakion and I have to predict correctly when he is attacking because um, here uh, I didn't have any other choice but to switch out because of course he's going to go for a Roost um, and if he went for a little I, I brought in a zoom roll just on the off chance of course that I could block the status with my pre-existing paralysis condition. Uh, I get off a good amount of damage with Aqua Jet. Of course it is banded, so thank goodness I didn't get paralyzed right there. And so he's at half HP, and I really need to force him into switching out. Um, here I just go ahead and manually switch out into Terrakian, hoping that he would go for knockoff, thinking that he would want to get rid of the leftovers on my Zapdos. And fortunately he does, and this is great because now, while I have lost my Choice Scarf, I do have plus one attack, and I outspeed Mew and uh, the uh, Licky Licky naturally. So with all that happening, I finally was able to get in the position where I can KO this great defensive core he has going on here. Um, and I'm not actually sure why I went for X Scissor a secondary time there. I could have gone for close combat at the end of the battle. And he actually gets the paralysis, believe it or not, on the, um, the body slam that he's able to get off. I'm not sure why I didn't go for close combat after I had my choice scarf, choice scarf knocked off. I'm going to chalk that up to battling him when I was tired and making a poor decision. Uh, but even so, great battle Kushi, I was able to close that out with a, a very, very, very close 2-0. 
And I think that's the closest battle that I've had in the league yet. So I hope the battles keep on getting better and better. And I hope you guys are still enjoying these league matches. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye bye now.